I feel like I am ready to go to a Lakers game right now, purple and gold. All right, so today it is foundation Friday. This is where I try out a new foundation every single Friday on my channel. This is a brand new foundation by LA Colors. It's called Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. So you get 1.35 ounces of product in here, which is a little bit more than a standard fluid ounce. And this retails for only six bucks. So super affordable. The shipping was actually more than the cost of the foundation. I think it paid eight bucks for shipping. I don't know where you can get LA Colors in store. Let us know down below if you know. But I just bought this on the actual LA Colors website. So reading on the LA Colors website, all it says is the long wearing high pigment formula applies as a liquid and blends to a beautiful matte powder like finish available in 14 shades to complement a wide range of skin tones. I don't know if 14 shades complements a wide range of skin tones, but okay. So I have the lightest shade, which is porcelain. I'm going to insert swatches right here so you can see how porcelain compares to some other foundation shades. So swatch time right here is the LA Colors foundation in the lightest shade porcelain. Next over is Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. Dermacol 208, which is my closest shade match. Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation in RG5. And the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation in Fair. So that's all of the claims. We don't have a lot to work with here. But LA Colors is cruelty free, so is their parent company, which is Beauty 21. Quick announcement, if you missed it in the last vlog that just went up, I am gonna be doing a meetup in Washington in Spokane, Sunday, November 19th, four o'clock PM. You can get tickets down below in the description box. 100% of the proceeds go to Project Beauty Share and it's at Northern Quest Casino in Spokane. Wow, I actually did that in one take, in like one sentence. So check the link down below if you wanna get tickets. I can't wait to meet you guys. Also wanted to say I will have reviews coming on the BH Liquid Foundation, the new one, and also the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This one, I picked up the wrong shade. This is way too dark, so I ended up ordering a second shade. I'm waiting for that to come in. So these two will be coming in the next couple weeks. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy Foundation Friday, don't forget to give this a thumbs up so I know. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Let's get into it and put this on my face. If you wanna see what I think of this foundation, how it applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place, just keep watching. All right, so it's actually 12.34 right now, so we're getting a late start. Felt not so great this morning, but we are here. We're here. So I'm gonna try and do my usual 10 hour wear test even though we're getting a late start today. But it's November 1st when I'm filming this, so I am currently on day 18 of Accutane. So this one isn't way pre-recorded because this is a new foundation that I wanted to get up for you guys and try out. So I haven't opened or swatched or anything this shade yet. It looks like it might be nice in the bottle. Can't tell if this is glass or really hard plastic. I think it's really hard plastic, but it has a nice weight to it. it doesn't feel super super cheap so i've washed moisturized and primed half my face using this matchbox primerizer i just primed this half of my face because this half is definitely a bit more dry i am starting to get a tiny bit dry from the accutane mostly down here so i have on a good moisturizer right now and then also the primerizer on this side so on half my face i'm going to try my sigma f80 to apply this and on the other half i'm going to use a sponge they actually discontinued my favorite friggin morphe sponge ever the other two red ones by the way are shit don't get them this one is the only good one but i've actually been really enjoying this la girl one it's great so i'm gonna use that today we have la girl and la colors so i think i'm gonna start out with the dampened sponge on this side of my face this when i squirted out on the palette looks pretty thick this is supposed to be matte and it says high pigment smells like paint it feels very light which is weird going on since it was such a thick consistency. Yeah, it feels pretty thin with the sponge, not covering very well. It's looking like it's covering more on camera, but this looks like low medium coverage right now with the sponge. Before I do my forehead, I wanna do the brush on this side to see if I get a little bit better coverage so I can see what I wanna do with the forehead. It's pretty patchy. Actually, when I look up close on both sides, it just doesn't want to stick to certain areas on both the primed and not primed side. And I'm using a ton of product right now. It's just like eating it up. I'm getting a tiny bit better coverage with the brush side, but the finish is definitely nicer with the sponge. So I'm going to apply this with the brush and then smooth it out with the sponge. It's like repelling off of my face in certain areas. Oh, I'm not liking this. I would not call this high pigment at all. I'm getting at best medium coverage. It's not covering my freckles 
redness really anything like there's still everything coming through okay so off of that one layer looking up close not looking good even on the areas where my face isn't super dry or anything yet it just is emphasizing everything and it's making my skin look really dry not looking good folks not looking good let's see if we can build it up with a sponge the coverage aside it just looks bad on my skin i also feel like i've used a shit ton of product but where is it going? It smells like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I will say it is nice that LA Colors came out with a shade like this because usually their lightest shade is like orange. Okay, so that's looking better on the second layer. Now we're at medium coverage. I don't even know if before I would call it medium. It looked like highlight coverage before. I think now we're at medium, barely. If you have any kind of texture or dryness, on your face, I would say pass on this one for sure. Still looks patchy in certain areas and pretty horrible on dryness. This is kind of one of those where a wear test feels kind of pointless because I can already tell you I would not recommend this or put this on my face again. Again, even on the areas where I'm not super dry, it just looks not great. But we're still gonna wear this thing. There's no way I would powder my face with this because it would be a disaster with the dryness, but it is transferring. It doesn't feel like a total powder finish, but maybe just needs a few more minutes to kind of set down. So it's 12.49, let's just call the check-in time about one o'clock. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so it's now 1.40. The rest of my makeup's on. I'm gonna tell you guys what's on my face in a second, but I just took some footage in front of the window. I think you'll be able to see what I'm seeing overall does not look great at all. It just looks horrible on my nose, around my nose, my forehead. There's just not really one area of my face that I like how it looks on right now. It's already starting to actually crease right here, I just noticed. This might be one throughout the day that kind of warms up and looks better as oils and stuff come through. It has totally set down, so now it feels more like a powder and it doesn't seem to be transferring as much as it did before, so that's good that it's set down. I think you guys get it. I am not feeling this one at all. But on the rest of my face to bronze, I use the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. I don't think I used a blush. No, I didn't really use a blush. I just put that kind of all over my cheeks. I tried out the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. These are new, both of these broke in the mail. I first went on with this one. It was a little more purpley, but it looks really pretty. I mean, it's like a rosy pink kind of purple shade. And then I layered it with the white one. I feel like I have to try these again to know my thoughts on them. I just can't really tell right now because my skin just looks like shit. So for eyes, I tried out the Day Slayer. 15D. I don't know if this is going to be their permanent packaging. I really hope it is, but this is such nice packaging. This is like hard, heavy plastic, way better than their normal packaging. You guys know I'm into packaging. Huge mirror on here without blinding you. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa. Here's the shades in here. So, I mean, typical warm palette, but the shadows were beautiful. And then for the metallic shade on my lid, I tried out the ColourPop Supernova shadow in the shade Walk of Fame. This is beautiful. I mean, look at that. The only thing with this I realized is that you don't want to put matte shadow on top of here. So I tried to blend out my outer V color on top and it didn't really work. Like you can still see it coming through and it looks kind of patchy right there. So just use this as like your last step eyeshadow. Inner corner is the same Physicians Formula highlight. And then on my lips, I use Pure FBF with ColourPop Ponyland ultra glossy lip and then I also tapped a little bit of the pink highlighter just on top of my lips to give it more of like a pink purpley kind of tint and I think that's everything then I just put on my normal mascaras which will be down below everything on my face is always listed down below in the description box jewelry everything I also got new rings switch into gold so again check-in time is one o'clock next check-in I do will be a natural lighting hopefully if the sun's not down by then I will see you guys in a few hours so it's now 5.57, so pretty much 6 o'clock. It's been on for about 5 hours. If this could white balance, that would be great. Okay, the camera was not wanting to not be blue, so I'm just in my filming room, but I just have one of the lights on. So hopefully you guys can see my face. So it's been on for 5 hours, and it looks pretty much exactly the same. I feel like my bronzer and stuff, which I regularly use that bronzer, and I know how it performs, and... Right now, I feel like it definitely looks patchier than it usually does. So at least it's not like creasing on my upper lip. So no major changes here or thoughts. I'm gonna keep this on for a few more hours. So I'll see you guys at the end of the night. It is nine o'clock. My phone is dead right now, it's charging. So it's been on for about eight hours at this point and I was just editing this video and it looks better on camera than it does in real life. 
in every check-in, especially the last one I feel like in front of the light. So I wanted to do this one in the bathroom. Hopefully it's more accurate, but my face is pretty itchy right now. I don't know if it's something in the foundation or just maybe being on Accutane and something in this one, no idea, but I should probably wash off my face. So I guess an upside is that I'm not oily right now at all. Like my forehead has zero oil on it. I never have zero oil. It still looks patchy. I don't think it looks significantly worse at this point, which is good. At least it hasn't worn worse throughout the day. It just still looks like it did when I applied it. So I think you guys get my thoughts on this one at this point. This one is a definite no for me. Maybe if you like light coverage and have oily skin, you might like this, but not feeling it. So, whoa. Let's go the other way, shall we? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.